What is your resolution for the city of Bloomington in 2008? You know, I will say uh, my personal resolution actually stems from a writer on HT Online and right after the election. And it was someone who was kind of congratulating uh, those who won in the election and, and all, and then giving me what I, I think has been the, maybe the best constructive criticism I've received as mayor, and that was simplify the message and crank up the volume. It, it's exactly what I needed to hear. It's exactly what we're going to do. I have no idea who the writer is. It was one of the, 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 the nicknames, um, but I owe that person, man or woman, a debt of gratitude. And so we're going to continue to purchase lots to turn over to Habitat for Humanity. We've been doing five or six lots per uh, in the last couple of years, and I'd, and I'd like to stay on, on that. Once that ball starts rolling, I think it will have a snowball effect, and we'll see a greater demand, because I think we're going to see a lot of development spurred and in interest in residential, retail, office, uh, along that path. I still think there's a future for it. I think it's a natural for especially graduation space for small, medium-sized companies coming out of uh, InVenture and of North Showers. More precisely, I guess, is who's going to manage it. Um, and that's something that I was attempting to work with BEDC in the last year to, uh, but again, they were in a time of transition. Uh, so we've, we've, we're gradually headed toward, I think, a, a relationship where BEDC would assist in the management um, at least in the future of a tech park. How much management oriented, I don't know. Whether we can find a way to have all of those entities play a management role or not is what I want to determine in January. I, I do want to be careful not to invest too heavily in infrastructure that, that may never get used. That we, had we been building out there um, for a tech park and then find out that, well, IU really has no interest in any involvement in that area because they're going to be doing something else that there are developers looking at graduation space elsewhere in the community where land is cheaper. Um, and that's why there was, that's why I've expressed in an in interview you and I did an openness to the idea of a post office being located either at uh, the 11 acres or at Stevens Olds. It's clearly not a tech park use uh, and yet it would be located in our tech park boundaries. Uh, and I, I think the certainty and the, and the community's desire to have a post office downtown in that case trumps what could be a, a future tech park use.